Hello, and thank you for tuning in, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Thank you for joining my YouTube channel. And what I'm going to do today is a quick little video on how to make your wood blocks, your old wood block stamps, into cling stamps. I was asked by a couple people to do this, so here's a quick little video. So let's get started. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, come stamp with me. Okay, again, Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. If you'd like to place an order with me, go to StampersDelight.com. Use the host code for March if your order is less than $150. Also, if you'd like to get the new starter kit and join my team, you can do that by going to StampersDelight.com and click on Join My Team. I'd love to have you. So let's get started. I am going to show you how to take a wood mount stamp. This is an old one that I just can't give up. There's three little uh, stamps in this set, and change it into a cling mount like this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take this block and put it in the microwave for approximately 10 seconds. That will loosen the glue up under here. You can see mine is already coming off. Okay, but I didn't um, microwave this because the microwave's upstairs. So I can pull it off. You can see it's coming off already, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to rip it. But once I heat this up for 10 seconds, it will peel off nice and easy. And so will the sticker. What I'm going to end up with is my piece of rubber, red rubber, with the foam still on it. And then, of course, my sticker. Now, <clears throat> these stickers didn't come pre-cut years ago, so this is a little larger than my stamp, and I am going to have to trim that. I can press this down, and it does stick, but not enough to my liking. So what I've done is to give it a little extra stickiness, I've taken my Stamp and Seal Plus. You can also use our tear tape, something that is going to really keep this down. And just put that on there like that. Makes it a little extra sticky. I'm going to go ahead and place this as close to what it should be as possible. That didn't work too well. Let me just move that. Okay. And I am going to place this down. Now I'm going to end up cutting some of this off. First, I'm going to make sure it's placed exactly where I want it. Now, I recommend you take a pair of old paper snips or scissors because it is a little sticky still and you're just going to trim that around the edges getting as close to the end as you can some of that may be cut off but this is pretty close there we go okay again i would use an old pair of scissors because it does get a little gooky and that's the first part of it. Okay, so now I'm just going to make sure that's pressed down really well. You are going to take our cling adhesive sheets, and the number is in the description. And this is kind of a long one. So what happens is, I'm going to take one of the sheets. I'm going to peel this off. And then I'm just going to lay it down right about here. I like to add a little extra if the stamp is big. You can also cut these into pieces. I'm just going to lift that up. Use your take your pick tool or your paper snips just to lift that off. And you can see there's the sticky part. I'm going to grab another one. And do the same thing. If it stays on the sheet, that's not a problem. You can grab that off the sheet. Like I said, they're very sticky. I'm just going to pull that off. Here's where the other one is. And even if it overlaps, that's okay. Get it as close to the edge as you can. You can see it's really sticking. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing at the top. Peel off another piece. Getting the edging if you can. Let's grab this one. There we go. And I'm going to lay it on the top here. You actually don't need 
a big piece if the stamp is smaller. But because this is a, a larger stamp, I want to make sure that I have it down really well. And then I'm just going to lift this up, pull those off. And then lay this one down. So I'm covering most of the stamp. I've seen where they've just done it in the middle, but I'm always afraid that it's going to come off. So I like to cover as much as the stamp as possible. And our new that's how our new cling mount ones are. You can see it's sticking to my fingers. Really want to get in there. Grab that off there. Take this one. And lift that off. And there it is. Now, here is the thing I want you to caution you about. This one I just did not too long ago. And you really want to make sure that when you lift this up, that it's not sticking on the block. Okay, so let's just grab this one. You might have to grab another block. So you can see I'm pulling this one off. This is the one I did earlier. It's really sticking on there. There we go. And you can see there's the sticky part. Now, because this is so sticky, and once you put it on your block, sometimes that um, adhesive, the cling adhesive, does stick on there. So what I do is I just take like my shirt or something like that and just get a little bit of that stickiness off, okay? Or a towel, don't use paper, something material, just so that it's still sticky, but not so sticky it's gonna stay on your block. And then I'm going to lay that down. I'll bring in an ink pad. Let's see, I have a couple here, so we're just gonna go with whatever color I have. I'll take my pretty peacock, because that's what I have on my table, and a piece of cardstock. I'm gonna ink that up. And I'm gonna stamp that. Ta -da! There you go. Look at that. And then I can use that piece. Aren't they cute? This is one of the reasons why I never got rid of these. So you have, the, I had the snowmen and I have the reindeer and then I have the elves. And that's all there is to it. Quick, easy. Now again, I'm just going to stamp this off a few times. Normally I would clean it. But for this video, I'm just going to stamp it off a few times. And then when you go to lift it, take your, use your take your pick tool and just lift that off the block. And if, you, if it's sticking too much, just grab your take your pick tool or your scissors and just lift up the edge and you can peel it right off. Sometimes, let me just show you, sometimes it does get stuck on there. So your take your pick tool is your best bet to use, and I'll show you why, it's right here, because on the other side of your take your pick tool, you've got this little paddle, as I call it, and if it's sticking too much, you can just lift that up this way and lift it right off the block. That's all there is to making this into this. So I hope you like this quick little video, and again, I personally don't mind the wood blocks but they do take up a lot of storage so it's easier to make them into cling mounts so i hope you enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe and keep on stamping stampers bye